Chapter 4 Code to Gaming in Scratch Recapitulation Scratch is a programming language that lets us create our own interactive stories, animations, games, music and art. Central Idea Creating Games in Scratch Creating Game in Scratch We had already learnt the basics of Scratch. Do you like playing games on computer? Yes, I love playing computer games. I can even play online games with my friends. Who creates games? Can I create one and give it to my friends? Introduction Scratch is a virtual programming language that helps you to make your own interactive stories, animations, games, music and more. This can be done using drag and drop block and an active object called sprites. Gaming is one of the most popular computer activities, new technologies constantly upgrading, making it possible to develop better and more powerful games that can be run on any computer. Getting started with Scratch 3.12 To open Scratch 3.12, do the following. Step 1. Click Start button. Step 2. Select Scratch Desktop. We have already learned the basics of Scratch and now we would learn the development of games in Scratch. Scratch 3.12 makes game development easy to learn and fun to create. Project. Let's make an underwater game in Scratch 3.12. In this game, we will have two different characters. One will be moved by the player and the second one will move randomly. When we touch the character by the other one, you score a point. Let's start. Step 1. Click on the delete button on the sprite. We need a background on the stage. Step 2. Click on the choose a backdrop button. Step 3. Choose the underwater one background. Now, the selected background will appear on the stage. As our stage is ready, we will start adding the characters on the stage. Step 4. Click on the Choose a Sprite to Choose Sprite from the library. Step 5. Click on the Animals section. Select and click on Octopus as player. The selected sprite appears on the stage. Step 6. Click on the Size box and change the number to 50. Now we will program the sprite to move with the keys on the keyboard. Step 7. Click on the events block category and drag when key pressed block on the stage. Step 7a. Click on the when key pressed block. Change the key to up arrow. Step 8. From the motion block category, click and drag the change y by block. Step 8a. Add these two blocks when key pressed block and change Y by block on the stage. Change their values to down arrow and minus 10 as shown in the figure. Step 9. Add these two blocks when key pressed block and change X by block on the stage. Set their values as shown in the figure. Now, check the movement of the sprite with the help of arrow keys. If found some error, then recheck the codes. Step 10. Add the new sprite to the stage by clicking on Choose a new sprite. Step 11. Click on Fish to add the new sprite. The selected sprite appears on the stage. Step 12. Reduce the size of sprite to 50. Now, we have to move the fish to the random position on the stage for which we have to program the fish. Step 13. From the event category, add the when flag clicked block. Step 14. From the control category, add forever block. Step 15. From the motion category, add the glide one seconds to random position block. Now we will write a code so that when our sprite touches the fish, it makes a sound and adds to the score. Step 16. Add when flag clicked from the events category. Step 17. Add forever block and if then block from control category. Step 18. Add touching mouse pointer block from sensing category. 
Change mouse pointer to fish by drop down button. Step 19. Add play sound until done block from the sound category. Change ocean wave to splash by the drop down button. Now check the code by moving the octopus with the arrow button and touch the fish. The sound of splash should play. Whenever we play a game, we need score also. To make the score, we have to make a new variable. Step 20. Click on the Variables category. Step 21. Click on the Make a Variable block. A new window will appear. Step 22. Click on the new Variable Name block and type Score in it and click OK. We can see that a new variable is created and appears on the left corner of the stage. Now, we want that score should move as we touch the fish, for which we need to do another coding for the scoring. Step 23. Add change my variable by one block from the variables category. Step 24. By the down arrow, change it to score. Our coding for the underwater game has been completed. Now we should test the game by clicking on the green flag above the stage. If you find any errors in the program, then recheck the entire coding again. Now click on the full screen control button on the right corner of the stage and play the game. Saving your game. As we have successfully made our first game in Scratch 3.12, now we must save the game. Click on File, Save to your computer to save the game. Type a name and click on the Save to save your game.